has kept coming, most of them young people, in what's reported to be the biggest protest over the crisis to date. They are uh, public servants, so we are here to say that our voices needs to be heard and it needs to be respected and this crisis needs to end now because it has gone up to the limit that where people cannot uh, bear anymore. The crowds came from all of Sri Lanka's diverse communities. This poster reads, give us stolen money back. And this says, corrupt rulers are playing with our future. In recent weeks, the price of essential goods rocketed and cooking gas and fuel became scarce. Power cuts last up to 13 hours. Economists say a massive drop in tourism revenue due to the Easter bombing of 2019 and the pandemic, coupled with a loss of government revenue due to a major pre-election tax cut, are to blame. Now there's not enough foreign currency for the government to buy essentials. That's only one way out of this crisis. The Rajapakshas has to be removed from the positions and then only we can see some sort of a credible political stability in the country and political, with the political stability only, the economic uh, sustainability will come into the country. The government is requesting a bailout from the International Monetary Fund and also seeking financial assistance from India, China and other friendly countries. The government has described demonstrators as extremists, accusing them of being politically manipulated. While a very few may fit this description, a vast majority of the thousands of protesters have turned up voluntarily. They say they want their futures back. And Gotabe Rajapaksa and the government must go. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.